so the county's comprehensive plan for a long time has concentrated development in, in activity centers. And the new rail stations uh, provide for the support, the backbone really for transit-oriented development so that the community doesn't have to drive into these activity centers, that they have a transit option. So these new garages at Herndon and Innovation really are the connections between the community and the new rail stations. They provide multimodal access, so not only for cars, but also for bicycles. They have new connections for pedestrians and also have bus bays so that people can take transit to get to the new rail stations. New metro stations are really part of a larger plan for Fairfax County. Um, it's really important that um, that these pieces of transportation infrastructure help build more urban facilities and land use that's in concurrence with the comprehensive plan. The reason we renovated the Herndon station was that we were getting this great new amenity with the metro station. Previously, Herndon Monroe was a great transportation hub and bus transfer facility. But with metro coming, it's really important to make sure we had enough capacity. So one of the first things that we did was obviously restripe. There's new LED lighting as well at the existing parking ride garage. There is a new pedestrian and vehicular bridge that connects the existing garage to the new garage. What that does is it allows people who enter into one garage to be able to drive to the other garage without having to go back to the ground level. So if they don't find enough parking in one garage, they can easily move between the two. The pedestrian element of that bridge also allows people who park in one garage to go one level and be able to reach the metro station without again having to go down to the ground level. In addition to that, there is a ride-in, ride-out that was added to Sunrise Valley that allows more people to get in and out of the Herndon Station area more easily. We also did some renovations to our bus canopy and the bus shelter. What happened there is that obviously after several years there was some paint chipping, time for a new look for that area. So bus canopy was renovated um, with a much cleaner look and new bus shelters were also installed again knowing that we have new riders that are expected through the metro station. So this ensures that there's enough capacity and we could add new amenities to be able to serve more users. We do have a secure bicycle parking area that allows for over 100 bikes to be parked there as well as unsecure um, as well as the typical bike racks and bike lockers that we have. So at the Herndon station, there's also been a new access added from the new garage to be able to continue on the Dulles Toll Road heading in the eastbound direction. There's also an existing connection to the westbound Dulles Toll Road that is also available in the existing garage. At both of the garages, we have installed LED energy efficient lighting. As cars are driving and people are walking through the aisles, the lights turn on. When there's no activity, they turn off so that lights are only used when they're needed. Well, Innovation Station is great because we have a lovely plaza that will be part of a larger urban development in the future um, and allows a lot of quick access um, right next to the metro station. We also have a kiss and ride facility um, that allows people to pick up and drop off easily from the nearby community and be able to reach their buses since the bus bays are right adjacent to the kiss and ride and next to the metro station. There's a bioretention pond that is there not only for environmental purposes and be able to for stormwater, best practice, but also it provides an informational feature for the community. There's a nice boardwalk and benches where people can come sit and they can learn about the importance of bioretention in these urban environments. Innovation Garage also has a snow melter which will allow the county to handle and ensure that there's enough capacity in the garage even during snow events to ensure that everyone can park. So the new Silver Line stations at Innovation and Herndon and the new extension of the Silver Line to Dulles Airport are really the culmination of the vision that was set in place back in the 1960s when Dulles Airport opened. At that time, they built the toll road and the access road and they reserved the median for future rail transit. And so now, more than 50 years later, this is really the culmination of that connection of the airport to the rest of the region through a rail transit.